Yeah, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so it's truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Ready? All right, so here we go from Team Marvel Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, and the home to the biggest UFC fights right now. From International Fight League to championship fights all across the board become the T-Mobile. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice body kick. Gets the elbow up into the target. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Went for the inside leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big straight left. What a big time takes out. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Effective punch there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Back and forth we go! Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Real nice body to land. 
just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Doubles up on the jab. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great, Great job. Great. So a strong five minutes down. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Nice head kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Man, man, over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Mixes it up nicely in terms of... Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, that's a nice strike. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pivot. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Nice head kick. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him. Oh. He's a He's a good man. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Final round, you ready? 
third and final round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, he missed with that right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Unable to connect with the right. Big body kick land. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Big kick land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, getting late in the fight right now, DC. Dream fight for the fans, maybe not so much for the judges. It's been back and forth. It's been so close. I would not want to be sitting at the judges' table right now. I don't know who's winning this fight. Missed with that right hand. Nice kick. How about that shin? Game of inches right there. Oh, kick home and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. That's a good strike right there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. They go the 15 minute distance. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest for 9-28. We played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!